What is up my friends and welcome back to Hobble Create. In this series you have learned how to automate an array of machinery and contraptions. From simple cobblestone generators and wood farms, to electron tubes and even mob spawners. And we are at the point where everything that's automatable has been automated. So now my friends it is time to delve into add-ons. And in today's episode you're going to learn how to automatically enchant your items with Create. So if you're new here then be sure to hit that subscribe button and remember to leave a like. And if there's an add-on that you want to see on here as long as it's on CurseForge, leave a comment down below. So today's add-on is called Create Enchantment Industry. It's quite a powerful mod that kind of leans more towards being overpowered. The first item that we're going to look into is called the Disenchanter. This is where we're going to get our liquid experience from. So we can place this down and if we stand on this, we can start to drain our player experience into this disenchanter. Then if we connect up some pipes, a mechanical pump and some rotational power, we can start to store that liquid experience. Now there is a few ways that we can use this disenchanter to get ourselves liquid experience. Let's set up a quick and cheeky belt. And your most automated way to get liquid experience is going to be by using nuggets of experience. Now you can get these from crushing down a variety of things, mostly all related things. So in your setup, you will be getting these nuggets of experience. And thankfully now in the latest versions of Create, you can actually craft these into blocks of experience for much easier storage. So let's go ahead and throw those onto our belt. There we go. So all of our experience from those nuggets are now in our tank. Honestly, it's kind of much easier just to use your player experience, especially if you've got an experience farm. This is much easier and much quicker. But stick around because I'm going to show off a little bit later how you can get experience from a way that this mod adds that you're probably not expecting. And now that we've got our liquid experience, what can we actually do with this? Well, this is where things get interesting. So we're going to take ourselves a blaze burner. On our blaze burner, we are going to be using this enchanting guide. It does require a sturdy sheet to make, but after you've made it, you can hold down shift and right click. That's going to turn it into a blaze enchanter. Now, if we break the blocks underneath and place in a fluid pipe, what we should be able to do now is pipe in some of this liquid experience. And as you can see, we have got an active blaze enchanter. Now, if we hold down shift and give him a right click, it's going to open up its interface. In here, this is where you're going to put your enchanted book. This book is what you want to apply to your item. So I think mending is probably going to be the most obvious one that we're going to want to add to a lot of tools. So now we've got ourselves a mending blaze enchanter. Now we could do this a manual way. We can go ahead and right click our diamond sword onto here. It's going to take a few moments, make a couple of cool sounds. I think it's the beacon effects, right? But it'll pop off. We now have a diamond sword with mending on. It consumed 102 millibuckets of the experience and it didn't consume the book. That is strong. But we don't need to stop there. What we can do now is on this belt, if we supply a bunch of items that can be enchanted with mending, it's going to start unloading them, loading them into our blaze enchanter. I love it how we just got diamond swords queuing up on a belt. What other circumstance would you ever have this? <laughs> it's so weird. But then that gets spat out onto our belt. We now have an enchanted diamond sword and it's just going to keep going and going, enchanting every single item consuming 102 millibuckets worth of experience. So this is all well and good. We have got a diamond sword with mending, but that's not really a good sword, is it? No. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our diamond sword that's got mending on it. We're going to go ahead and swap out the enchantment. Let's go ahead and put in some looting three. Then we can go ahead and add on our sword again. It's going to go straight back in. And there we go. We have got a diamond sword with mending and looting three. And we can take this even further, adding every single enchant a sword can receive. Which is kind of awesome because anvils... They, they kind of suck, don't they? Let's be honest. Anvil uses and the exponential experience cost to actually enchant things and eventually it's saying too expensive, not ideal. So next I want to talk about another way you can generate liquid experience. Not the fun way that I'm going to be showing you in a little bit, just another way that's actually really useful. You see, Minecraft has got a bit of an issue where you just get a random assortment of enchanted bows and enchanted stuff and nothing really too useful. It kind of goes into a storage and gets forgotten about. Not anymore. So using our disenchanter, we can take our randomly enchanted item. We can send that through. Gone with the foil. We get our sword back, but we also get liquid experience. You may have seen it shoot through our pipe. But yes, I hear you asking, Hobble, what else does this mod do? 
Well, let me introduce you to the printer. This printer here will duplicate books. So let's set that up over here. So we're going to need another pipe pumping in our liquid experience into this printer. And to keep it simple, we're just going to use a depot this time. Now we need to find a book that we want to duplicate. I think mending's probably going to be a quite useful one. Let's go in here and give this mending book to our printer. Then in order to duplicate this mending book, all we need to do is provide some regular books. It's going to take a couple of seconds and when it's done, we now have infinite mending books, infinite novels of great experience, infinite anything you want book related. So liquid experience, that's going to be used for duplicating your enchanted books. If you want to duplicate your written books, you're going to need some ink. Ink is very, very simple. In a mixer, you're going to throw in any ink ingredient, black dye with a rose, ink sack, a little bit of water. You get out your ink. That's what you plug into your printer. That's what gives you the duplication, right? I think we need to go ahead and just, oh yeah, that's a lot of mending books. But again, I hear you asking Hobble, what else can it do? Well, this is all well and good. Infinite end chance for no anvil uses. Absolutely wonderful. We can absolutely take it one step further where it's kind of a little bit overpowered. You see, normal Minecraft will only let you get looting free. Let me introduce you to liquid hyper experience. Now, this is a little bit of an involved effort to go ahead and make this hyper experience. You are going to need your regular liquid experience, a little bit of lapis and a glow ink sack. But honestly, ink sacks are nice and easy to go ahead and just grab a bunch of them straight away. Let's go ahead and do that. We got six ink sacks from that one squid alone. But that'll give you enough ink sacks to go ahead and haunt yourself into some glowy boys. And the last thing to do then is to get yourself some blaze cakes, but I did teach you how to automate those. So in our Blaze Enchanter, we have got our Looting 3 book. If we go ahead and give him a little bit of Liquid Hyper experience, he's going to turn very blue. Now, if we take our regular Diamond Sword and give him this. But after a few moments, we now have a Diamond Sword with Looting 4. That's right. We can get higher than default enchant however before you get too excited it does only go one level above default but that's still pretty impressive protection five sweeping edge four you name it you can go one above now there are two more ways that you can generate yourself some experience nuggets added by this mod one of them is sitting right beside me when a deployer kills a mob it has a chance of dropping some nuggets of experience so let's test it out with our cow friend here let's see what we get there it is, Nugget of Experience. If you've got yourself any kind of farm, even a mob spawner farm like this is going to start dropping Nuggets of Experience. But there is one more kind of cruel but kind of fun way that you can generate these Nuggets of Experience added by this mod. And that is by using crushing wheels. If we go ahead and add in our cow friend, we'll get a couple of items, nothing too special. But there is a small chance that they are going to start dropping Nuggets of Experience. There one is. Just another snipe, just another weird way that you can get yourself nuggets of experience. However, the rates are ever so slightly less, mostly because you're not using any durability. It's basically throwing them through a crushing wheel, so you kind of have a trade-off there. But getting yourself multiple enchanted swords now to fill up your mob farm, honestly, it's not going to be a hassle anymore. And I hope to see this mod included in many mod packs in the future because it's kind of awesome and I kind of really enjoy it. But my friends, that is actually going to do it for today's episode. If you did enjoy yourself and you enjoy this new format, then let me know down below. Hit that subscribe button, leave a comment for the next thing you want to see. But my friends, I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.